Hi, my name is Sharon Rojo, one of the clinical educators here at Healthmark Industries. Today, we're going to show you how to use the continuity tester and adapters used to test the internal conductors of your reusable bipolar and monopolar reusable cables and cords. The cable continuity tester can help you meet the recommendations and standards of the ANSI AMI ST79 Amendment 2 under 8.2.1 which is the inspection of instruments intended to be used with electrical current. Amy states that each installation tester may be supplied with a variety of accessories to test specific instrumentation and cables and cords based on their design. Cables and cords are also a source of concern and need to be inspected and checked for integrity and continuity. Let's go over some basic anatomy of the continuity tester. You'll notice in the back, it takes a nine volt battery located here. It has suction cups to be able to secure it to your workstation. In the front, you're gonna see a toggle switch that you simply move towards a bipolar to test your bipolar cables and cords. In the middle, we'll turn that toggle switch or the unit off. And then you notice here to test your monopolar, you will do the toggle switch to that side. So once you secure the cable continuity tester to your workstation, now we're ready to test. We're gonna start off by testing a monopolar cable. You're gonna take your toggle switch and you're gonna turn it on towards the word monopolar. You're gonna take the proximal end of the cable, put it into the port at the bottom, your distal end of the cable into the post on top. Automatically, you're gonna see the light go on. Now. We're not done yet because now you have to take the cord on proximal end and wiggle it, making sure at any point that the light doesn't flicker. The same for the distal, and then you're also gonna look at the cable and play with the cable and maneuver that as well. That light should stay consistent. If you have that light flickering, there mean, that means there's actually a break within the cable or a half break. So now we're gonna show you a damage or a cord that's going to fail. So we're gonna insert the cable and you're gonna notice the light goes on and it's flickering and I haven't even started playing with the cord yet. As you can see, I moved it around and the light doesn't go on. This is signifying that there is a break or almost a complete break within the cable and this is damaged. So now we're gonna show you how to test a bipolar cable. You're gonna turn the toggle switch on to the bipolar wording there. You're gonna hook up to the red and black, and it doesn't matter which one that you put into the port. Once you plug that in, you're gonna actually take the instrument itself, put it into the cable, and you're gonna put this into the two openings on the bottom. When you do that, you're gonna see the light goes on. You're gonna hold it steady, and you're gonna wiggle the proximal and distal parts of that cable and all the way through, making sure that that light doesn't flicker. So this cable is actually Good. Sometimes you'll run into bipolar cords that actually have a fixed base where the posts are actually separated further apart. In that case, it won't be able to fit into the unit directly. There are adapters that can be purchased separately where you can hook up black to black, red to red, and actually hook up each part of the post with that specific adapter. ANSI AMI ST79 Amendment 2 states that cables and cords are a source of concern. There's been documented cases where patients have had burns, surgical fires as well. Healthmark has developed the cable continuity tester for patient and staff safety. Thank you.